Hi friends, this is Aishwarya from Freshersworld.com. Welcome to our YouTube channel on Jobs and Careers. Today the topic that we are going to look on to it is clocks. So, we know that this is how a clock looks. So, so this is what we call it as the hour hand. And this is what we call it as minute hand. So, hour hand we also tell it as a smaller one. And we tell this as a longer one. So, the hour hand we know that circulates the 360 degree for every 12 hours. Similarly, we know that the minute hand circulates 360 degree for every 60 minutes. So, let us understand how much the hour hand and clock hand moves around across 360 degrees. Let's take the hour hand. We also know, we also call it as the short hand. So, Short hand, we know that it moves 360 degrees for every 12 hours. So, 360 degrees every 12 hours. So, we want to know how much degrees it moves for per hour. Per hour is equal to 360 divided by 12, which is nothing but 30 degrees. So, the hour hand moves 30 degrees per hour. So let's go to the minute hand. Similarly, we know that we call the minute hand as the long hand. So it moves 360 degrees every 60 minutes. So we want to know how much the minute hand moves every minute. So it is nothing but 360 by 60 which is nothing but 6 degrees so the minute hand moves 6 degrees for every minute so let's solve a problem to understand this concept much better so the question that they have given is find the angle between the minute hand and the hour hand of a clock when the time is 6 30 so how to solve this let's consider the hour hand first so we have to convert this 6.30 into hours. So we know that 6 hours is there and for 30 minutes we know that we have to divide it by 60. So it's nothing but 6 into 6 which is 360 plus 30 by 60. Nothing but 390 by 60. We get it as 39 by 6 hours. So we know that hour hand moves 360 degrees every 12 hours. So 360 degrees every 12 hours means so we know we have 39 by 6 hours now. So how many degrees it moves? So let's take this as x. So x is equal to 360 into 39 by 6. Let's take 12 here itself. So 65. 95 so 45. 39 into 5 is nothing but 95 so 45. 4. 195. So let's have this. Let's go to the minute hand now. Similarly, now we are going to convert everything to minutes. So we know that 6 into 60 which is nothing but 360 plus 30 minutes. Similarly, you are going to get 390 here. So 390 minutes. So the minute hand moves 360 degree for every 60 minutes. So we have here 390 minutes. So how much does it move? So we are going to find this. So we know that the minute hand moves 360 degrees every 60 minutes so if you're going to multiply this we are going to get a very huge number so what do we do this here so every 360 uh, every 60 minutes is going to move so we don't have to find it for the whole of 390 minutes it is enough if we find it for the 30 minutes so so we're going to rewrite the equation as 360 60 minutes 30 minutes See, this is the same for any other problem. Let's say they're going to ask it as 12.15. So, we don't have to find it for the 12 hours or whatever. The Whatever the minutes that we're going to get for the 15 minutes, that is the only angle that we need to find. Let it be 12.15, 8.15 or whatever be it. Whatever the minutes that we're going to get for the 15, if you're going to find only for that, that is more than enough. So, that's the same concept we are using it here. So, it is x is equal to 
360 into 30 divided by 60. Yeah. 180. So we know x is equal to 180. So the hour hand is at 195, the minute hand is at 190. So they are asking the angle difference between them. So which is nothing but 195 minus 180 is equal to 15 degrees. So the answer is 15 degrees. So they are going to ask you the same problem by varying the time. So find it, first you have to find it for the hour hand, keep the answer. Similarly find it for the minute hand, keep the answer, subtract both of it. Then you will get the angle between the hour hand and the minute hand. So this is what first type of the clock's problem. In the upcoming videos, we will be discussing on the various types of the clock's problem. So if you are a person who is looking for a job, kindly register in our freshersworld.com. Kindly like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.